Hey, what's up you guys? It's Mike and Sarah with Unboxing Life. And what is going on right now, babe, in our lives? We bought a bus. We bought a bus. That's right, we bought a 16 passenger shuttle bus in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're converting it into our home on wheels. If you guys wanna know how we converted this bus into what it looks like now, follow along and we'll show you the step-by-step -step process. I'm in the shuttle bus right now and I was just removing this panel that covers the um, mechanics for the door. And as I took it off, I wasn't going to record it because it's nothing crazy, but look what's inside this. Someone wrote, hello, why did you take this off? Did you break something? Well, fix it and stop screwing around. You made him sad. What the heck? Definitely work smarter, not harder moment. I have this uh, air mattress I'm going to lay on and unscrew these bolts that are right up there. Right up there. Unscrew all those. So done. It's all taken out. Now this thing is free. There we go. Perfect. And it's ready to sell. Next, what we're doing is working on removing these upper paneling where all the speakers are and the lights. It's actually pretty simple. So what we did is we just kind of pried it off and then ripped it right down. You can see everything behind it. Oh man, what a wire. What a mess of wires. Sorry. Oh, you... Well, Mark just kicked over a box of tools. Of course, we had to clean that up. Now what we're doing is removing all the seats out of the bus. That way we can actually work on the bus itself. It just gives us a lot more room. We were trying to walk around them, and it was just a mess. Sarah's over here manhandling them herself. Oh, man. Look at look at the way she just... Look at that. She just lifts it up and... Like, ease. <laughs> wow. Next, what we're doing is ripping down the other side of the paneling. Uh, Mark is clearly doing this one with the crowbar. <laughs> Let me just chuck the bed out of the way. And look, it falls right out. You just pop them off. There you go. And then there's a screw right underneath. All right, so pull this apart. This is that cubby. Look at that. Wow. Trim that's right underneath it as well. Looks like they're just screwed in with screws. He's getting it. Gee. But it's, there you go. Cool, great job, baby. We're finally tackling the front console area. Right now, we're moving the front roof, and then next, you'll be seeing we're gonna remove the back roof. Uh, it's pretty simple. You just gotta unplug these two lights on the top, comes right down. This front box area, I'm actually converting into storage, which is gonna be awesome. So now we're currently lifting up the rug finally, so we're gonna remove the entire rug inside the van. What's up, Sarah? My beautiful fiance. She herself ripped this whole pillar off, that whole pillar off, this whole pillar off, and she did all the trims and all the railings perfect. and those railings over there. All right, you guys, as you can tell, we ripped up all the carpet, took out all the seats, took off some of the, the panels over here, over there, so I took off so many panels over here. Um, me well, that's where you're throwing that Sorry, I was, I was <laughs> underneath, I was underneath the bus, ripping all the bolts, Mark was up top, unscrewing all the bolts. Okay, so we got our PPE on. That only means one thing. We're working with something that can easily get in our eyes, and we definitely do not want that. That's happened to me before, actually, with battery acid when I was working underneath the car. I lost, actually, most of my vision in my right, and then, thankfully, I, over time, it came back. But really, be careful. Don't even joke about it. PPE all around, super protective. Look at that. All around my glasses, and I'm wearing glasses underneath. <laughs> so what we're doing is getting rid of the rivets. We got a rivet gun. Well, not a rivet gun, sorry. This is an air chisel, and this has a hammer attachment. <coughs> Super easy to do. You just point it right in the middle of the rivet to remove it. Then once you put it in, <coughs> boom, done. Then on to the next one. There you go. They probably can't even see you, but it's okay, I can. And then push hard in the middle, and then do do. Using this air chisel is actually super easy, but like I said, wear PPE because these metal pieces do fly around. Um, clearly Sarah can't help me out right now because she has a height deficiency, but don't worry. She's going to start working on the uh, back wall portion, which is great, while I start cleaning everything up and getting it all ready. There we go. One and 
done, baby. Next one. Woo! All done! Alright. Supposed to do with all these vermits, but our ribbons just fell right out. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Now this should just come undone. Whoa. Oh man. Okay. I'm just trying to get this. No idea. Here we go. Good. Whatever. Ready, you guys? On the count of three, babe, we're gonna kick it. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I was like, on the count of three, we're going to kick it. It just dropped. Mm. All right, that works. We just got to be careful of the AC. Yeah. Let's remove this other light before it falls off. Once we ripped the ceiling down, we had to clean up this giant mess we had. It's actually pretty easy. Just get a broom, gloves, put it all in the trash can that we have outside, and then we can finally start on the rest of the bus. Now what we're working on is butyl taping and resealing the windows. Uh, it's actually a pretty time-consuming process. Yeah, babe, get it. <laughs> Doing such an amazing job. All right, so now it's Michael's turn to hose down the bus, and we're gonna see if there's any leaks. He's so cute. here coming in from this window seal great cool well at least we know let's see it right there oh that whole thing I thought I was recording <laughs> all right well I unloaded it all right there Whew. now we got this thing to push out this one which is a middle grade option the reason I want it is it's a three-fourths inch so we're gonna save a little bit of room in inch and headroom and it's an R value of five and when I push on this, look at this, it won't go anywhere. Don't forget, this is gonna be the floor, so I wanna make sure it's safe. This right here, when I push on this, look at this. So, not, not worth the hassle. I'd rather spend an extra 30 bucks, and look at that, perfect. All right, back to the bus. Lock this. There we go. It's out. Look at that. Now we can actually use this to load stuff in and out of. And there's uh, insulation boards. Look at the whole boss, it's so empty. So yeah, as I thought, these are antifreeze lines that are running to it for the heater, for the hot water. So what we're gonna have to do is go underneath the bus, splice them, cut them, and put them together. All right, so the heater is removed. Fair warning, when you cut these, one of them will shoot up. So make sure you have a pan, rags, whatever you want so it doesn't get all over your floor. So you cut one, cut two. What I recommend is I had a shop vac, put it right on there, seal it up with your hand. Rip these hoses out. So these were going up to the floorboard that I just showed you. Rip them out of the floor. Now all I did was follow the lines, which gets a little complicated just because there's so many. But they're right here. We just follow them down. Now they're right here. Keep on following them. Keep on following them they're together so it's pretty easy to watch them one here one behind it keep on following it and then eventually you'll see them <sighs> sorry you'll see them right here keep going with it and then right there is where we got to disconnect one and loop it around and connect the other All right, now that that hole's cut out, now all we have to do is cut a piece of plywood, put it down in here, screw it down into the metal, and then we're good to go. Now that I got these two pieces, it should fit in here. All right. 
right, we're installing our first insulation board. Let's see, push it in. Oh, oh. Ooh, what a snug fit. What a snug fit. Wow. Can't get tighter than that. All right, me, myself, and I, hey. <sighs> Taking these plywood sheets in. Just taking this first one. Oh, it's a lot easier when there's plywood in here now. Ooh. This is a lot of fun with one person. Okay. And in. And in. Nice. That's it. This one's gonna be a real pain in the butt. Yeah, look at this. We gotta cut that, cut that, cut that, cut this, cut that. Oh. I know it looks sketchy, but I promise you it's not. It's actually really stable. So for us to get on top of the roof right now, we're using the handicap lift and then this eight foot ladder, and that'll bring us right up to the top. All right, so right here, what we're doing is we're scraping off all the existing caulk, which is absolutely dry rotted. Look how bad it is. And then we're gonna replace it with fresh new ones, and hopefully there's no leaks. <laughs> now what we're doing is scraping off all the caulking on the roof, getting it ready, getting it prepped, so that way we can finally paint this ugly roof into a beautiful, bright, bright white. You can see Sarah's now sweeping off all the debris and pushing it right into a dumpster to make the cleaning easy. Now what we're using is Henry's Solaflex White Roof Coating. Super bright, super easy to use. We actually got this from another YouTuber. A bus life story, they'll be linked down below, of course. Now what I'm doing is wiping off all the debris, grease, oils, prepping it for paint. We're using rollers. I highly recommend using a smooth roller. <laughs> we ended up only having what we had, so it's a little bit of a rough paint job, but it still works perfect for what we need. We're not going to make you guys have to sit through the whole process. It did take a while, but it's pretty simple. We did about, I think, two and a half coats probably, about almost three coats. We just did as much as we could until we ran out of paint because that's the only thing we're using the paint on. Hey, what's up you guys? This is Unboxing Life with Mike and Sarah and today we're installing the Max Air Fan. It is the intake and exhaust one. Super easy to install. Sarah's first time installing this fan. She's a little worried, but I'm gonna do step by step to show her how to do it and to show you guys how to do it. Sarah, what tools are we using today? So, the jigsaw. Yeah, perfect, <laughs> yep. Great job. Yes. So you're gonna need your drill and drill bits. The reason for this is we're gonna drill the holes on the inside to start them off, and then we're gonna use the jigsaw to cut them in a straight, perfect line. Also, don't forget, you're gonna need some gloves because we're gonna use some silicone, and this will get on your hands, and it's horrible to take off. <laughs> and then, uh, babe, we used a butyl tape last time, remember? So we used the butyl tape on the windows, and we're gonna do the same exact thing on this Max Air fan. We got this off Amazon. It comes in a three pack. It's amazing. Three packs of 30, so that's 90 feet total. Plenty, plenty of butyl tape for your windows and your fans. So I recommend that. Link will be in the description down below. And don't forget, what do you call this? Scraper? Yeah, I'd say a paint scraper. Yeah, paint, yeah, paint scraper. We use this for the sealant to make it smooth. And then don't forget a, a measuring tape, ruler, tape measure. A spackle, yeah, that works too. Spackle it up. <laughs> Don't forget a tape measure or ruler because you have to measure the inside to cut it. And then if you guys do like this Max Air Fan that we are using, it is in the description down below. Amazon has a pretty good deal on it. So. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh, I got the white one, of course. I thought about getting the see-through one, but the white one, just in case of the extra sunlight coming in. Ooh. Wow, look, you, look at her. Oh, she's so beautiful. All of this. Wow. How do we even open this? Oh, there it is. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Oh, I installed one of these in my old bus, in my old van. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I know, I kind of like that see-through one the guy got, but I like this one better just because of the heat-wise aspect. 
and it's white so it blends in really nice. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're on top of the roof. We already measured these 14 by 14. They should be perfect. Yeah, 14 down the center because you want a little bit of room to fit everything. We're gonna cock it anyway. So now what I'm doing is marking up the line so that way I can cut perfectly straight with the jigsaw. It's really important to do this, otherwise you're gonna have some crooked lines. It's just what's gonna happen. So get a nice straight edge like a ruler and mark them all off so that way you're nice and prepped and ready. Next what I'm doing is grabbing the jigsaw, like I said, cutting along the lines. Take it nice and slow. It'll cut like butter. Just make sure that your blade is a metal cutting blade. Do not use a wood blade on metal. It's not going to work. Trust me. We tried. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> All right, now we're measuring. So this fairing strip is actually gonna go underneath inside the bus. That way the fan has something to mount to, so it's a little bit more supported. We just cut in there. I already measured this out. You just can't really see the cuts. I measured that, measured that. So I have two 14s that go on the inside, and then two 16s that go on the outside. All right, and there you guys go. This is the one template that's gonna go underneath inside bus like this. Then we're gonna get the piece, the trim piece. Fits inside just like that, nice and snug, perfect. And then don't forget the van's gonna be in between both of these. There we go, let's go install this. Make sure the metal, are you here? Make sure these metal clips are here. One here and one there, okay? Hold on, careful. Good. Is it in there? Yep. It's in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe go back a little bit. Can you bring it towards you a tad? No, oh, whoa. Right there, yep. Perfect. Okay. I gotta line this up perfectly. Good. Good. Oh, damn. She's screwing in all the screws right now in the fan trim molding right here. Perfect. And then that is screwing in directly, like I said, into the wood that we're installing underneath. Crazy. Don't mind my bad hair. All right. Now we're just gonna cock this up on the outside. I know it's already been cocked a lot but we're gonna cock it so it doesn't leak anywhere. Oh, it's so hot up here. Okay, and we're cocking this. Why are you getting black up here? Uh, cause it's the high performance one and you're not gonna see it, so it doesn't matter. I know there's no background music to this, but it's because this is so important. Do not forget to cock on top of your screws and on top of your bolts. You never want to leak, and this is one spot where it always leaks. All right, so we have half of it done now with the RV uh, silicone tape. Now we're just doing the other half. It's pretty easy. We already cocked it. Sarah's lining it up. Let's line it up more to here. Yep, perfect. Is it already down? Yeah, it's fine. Dude. That's good. That's good. This goes this way. The water can't even go up over it, you know? Now we're just finishing out putting down this RV butyl tape. It's amazing. Link will be down below. It works for everything. Even if there's a hole in your RV, I'd say put some caulking, put this tape. There won't be no leak. But yeah, I highly recommend it. Like I said, link down below. Check it out. Got it on Amazon. Pretty cheap for how much roll you get. Just remember to open the fan before you do this, because otherwise you have to do what I just did. Ah, there we go. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. Wow, what a fit. Can I just say that? Am I allowed to say that? Fully installed. Next, we'll turn it on in the inside just to test that it works. Wow. That's it. That's it. Great job, babe. Great job. Whew. And that's how you install the Max Air Fan. And then on the inside, once you're finished with the... Uh, ceiling then you got to cut that trim piece to the height that is required for you 
and then you just screw it into the ceiling. Thank you guys for sticking around all the way to the end. Here are some funny bloopers of us. Of course, you can't get stuff in just one take. We'll see you guys in the next video. Sarah's actually working a double at her. Ready? Yeah. And hold on. And go. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Babe, why'd you throw it so hard? You've been sweeping this entire time. That's what I've been doing. Ah. <laughs>